In 1937, Iyengar arrived in Pune to teach at the Gymkhana. But after a few years, the Gymkhana terminated the yoga classes. But Iyengar was desperate to earn money and support his mother and to make a living for himself. He was determined to teach yoga privately in Pune, but he had only few students at far off places. He had to travel tens of kilometers on cycle to teach them, which resulted in varicose veins, groin pain and hernia. Many a time he had to stop midway and perform asanas on the road just to relieve his pain. In his own words, since he was uneducated, uncivilized, ignorant and submissive, he was treated like dust by everyone. His income was not enough and there were instances when he had to survive just on tap water for 3 to 4 days. Yet he marched on amidst this tribulation. On insistence of his mother, he got married and later on had kids. They still went through immense financial struggles. But one night, all of that was bound to change. Iyengar claims that Lord Sri Venkateshwara of Tirupati appeared in his dream and said that from that night onwards his struggles will be over and his life will be dedicated to teaching and practicing yoga. Did it really materialize? Let's see in the next story.